I'm Mr. Neighbors, and I'm going to be your IS uh, CIT 10 teacher for this short semester. It's a very quick uh, eight-week class, and um, what I'm going to do is at the end of the in the end of this orientation, I'm going to allow you guys to ask questions if you want to. If not, it, this will be recorded. You can go back and look at it. So right off the bat, I'm going to share my screen and go right into. Um, share. So you all should be seeing my, my screen for this class. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do an overview, and then I'll go into detail of some of the stuff that's out here for you. There's the syllabus. There's modules, which everything in this class is going to take place in modules. There is grades. There's discussions. The discussions you can find in modules. You have your Connect, McGraw-Hill Connect, and your McGraw-Hill um, SIMNet. These both will be purchased in the bookstore. They're e-codes, and they're going to give you uh, two pieces of paper in cellophane wrap, and you'll unlock them and scratch off the back of each one, and it'll have your codes. So then all you have to do is click here and come in. You can have a 14-day free trial period on these. It's very easy. When you click on it, it'll just ask for some information. Do not purchase, do not, do not, do not purchase your McGraw-Hill Connect and SimNet through the interface when you click on it. Um, they charge you a really high price, and I don't want you paying that. What I did for the bookstore is a very good deal of 105 So remember, if you do not have the codes in your hand from the bookstore, just click the, uh, the trial versions, which will be right in here. Um, quizzes you don't have to worry about because those are except for one, which is your orientation quiz. Also here on the side, this Canvas calendar is big because you'll notice if you click on it, as I just did, it's going to bring up all the dates for this class and you're going to see the most current assignments that we have out here. So now I'm going to go back to the course. And you'll see there's syllabus. Let's see what happens when I click on connect. I'm in the student view, so it might give me an error. Um, begin the registration process when I come in here. It's going to ask me, it might give me, it might yell at me. Yeah, I knew it would. Um, so I'm going to go back. I got to go all the way back in, or I have to scroll it down. I'm going to go back into here. Um, let's start with modules. You'll see that in modules, I have everything listed, everything that you're going to do. And remember, if it says an orientation overview, if you come in here and you got to go all the way to the bottom and say next, and some of them you have to check at the bottom. Let me see if this one has it next. There's check boxes to say that you've seen it. So what I really want you to do, I'm trying to find one. It's always at the bottom. You got to check it. I really want you to go through this part A orientation. Very big deal. Also inside there is a discussion question that you have to answer. And you also have a orientation quiz that you can take as many times as you want. Then there's a part B to week one. And it gets into the things that we're going to do in this class. One is logging on to SendNet, which you'll see it open up here. You come in, this is not a video, this is just a PDF. It'll allow you to see when you come in. Let me zoom back a little bit. When you get into it, it's going to ask you questions. You do not do, right here, the SimNet where it wants you to pay. If you don't have your codes from the bookstore, use the courtesy access. And I got to stress the courtesy access is huge for you guys. I give a great discount. So when I come back into modules, You'll see there's lots and lots of good information. Um, everything's listed here. The whole semester's done. I'm willing to work with you. Um, of course, this meeting will be recorded. Every lesson I have, you know, stages of success, talks about the calendars, talks about getting your office. They give it to you for free um, if you don't have it. Um, and if you have troubles, you can always reach out to me, but I can give you this information as well staying up on online classes. And then next step in this model module is 1.2.
Here's what we want you to do. You're going to get in and start working on chapter two. My lecture notes are all done for you. I have some DSP and S students. Totally fine. We'll click on this link in just a little bit. And then you can watch my videos right here. Okay. Part of the SimNet is connect is to do smart book and to do the quiz after you've finished this lecture. And it talks about it all through here about the smart book, how important it is. Okay. And then you take the quiz. So then I go, if you have trouble, I have connect, I have uh, some support down here. And we also have to go into SimNet and shows you how to register. If you don't know how, always use it. The courtesy temporary access. Um, you're going to work on your, uh, you'll work on your um, Windows first. And then we go through here, more help. And then congrats, you finished module one. So then it's going to take you into guess what? All my lectures are provided for you right here. Every lecture is always provided at the end of every chapter for all the chapters that we're going to cover. Okay. My notes by clicking right here, double click once, it's going to open eventually. And all my notes are there. I have little blanks. Those go along with my lectures that I have. So I've given you, I have provided you with my notes. I have provided you with a lecture. If you click right here, chapter two, if you wait for it to scroll, it's going to spin, 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 spin. It just deals with your, um, your connection speed. Click on this. And guess what? Way we go. We're talking. It's moving. You can hear the whole thing. And that goes with my notes. Okay. So when I'm over here, I have my notes for chapter two and my videos all the way down. Okay. So modules is a great place to hang out. It's where a lot of things are going to be found. It's what we're going to work on. It's what we're going to do. Let's look at our syllabus. Our syllabus is found right here by hitting view. Again, it'll open up. I have last orientation I did the following semester. If anybody wanted to watch it, let's let this thing load. And as I come down, it talks about what class we're in. Again, this is a short-term class. We're, we're going to be hauling, and I have a lot of due dates that are open for you. Yes, I have due dates, but all you have to say is, Mr. Neighbors, I fall behind. Um, can you open them back up? And I'll say, sure. And I'll ask you how much time you need, and we'll go from there. Um, textbook. Very, very, very important. You purchase the textbook from EVC. If they don't have it, let me know ASAP because I also teach at another campus and we've been going for three weeks already and I know they have the book or the little codes, the e-codes. Um, they will mail them to you, but if you call the bookstore when you order, um, they will give you the codes over the phone, both codes for SendNet and for Connect, and then they will mail it to you as well. But you have to call them and we'll work this out. I'm not sure if the, uh, if the Evergreen Valley will do that. I know they're in stock because I've already checked. Um, do not purchase it anywhere else. There are two pieces of software and one. That's why it's only 105. I did a good job. Um, online office hours, talking about them. I do have office hours on Wednesday. It's a group office hour. Just I turn my Zoom on from one to two. We hang out and talk. Anybody, it's not mandatory. Anybody wants to come by, can come by from any class. My attendance, it's online. Um, really important that you always have to check. I'll send out a, a, a checker that'll, um, that'll check your computer system to make sure that you have the proper um, office set up for your computer. If you are using a Chromebook of any time, any kind, it will not work. A Mac will work, but we have to get the right software installed. But the problem we have is access. You might have to go to the library and use the access uh, an account for the access because Microsoft does not make access for a Mac. You can download the software again on your aunt's, uncle's, cousin's computer just so that you get access. Totally fine. I just want you to be aware of this at the beginning. Um, dropping a class. If you do not take the first uh, discussion question and the quiz, the orientation quiz, which you can take as many times as you want, 
you will be dropped as a no-show. I have to do that. That's part of the rules. Um, if you have a computer problem, you can always borrow somebody else's. It's kind of on you. Um, you can talk to a friend, talk to a county library, talk to the school. If you're not having a network connection, there's plenty of places to take your laptop to. You can go to Starbucks. You can go to a McDonald's. You can go to uh, lots of restaurants, uh, lots of stores. Um, where's the big one? Walk through Walmart. A little slow, but you can do it. Uh, let me scroll down here. I want to make sure you have it. Here's all the assignments that you're going to have. You can retake these as many times as you want up to the end of the class. There are 15 points each. Sums it up, and away you go. Okay? Totally fair. Um, your chapter tests, you have a quiz for each chapter. You can take it three times, no time limit. You take the highest score of the three. However, when we get to our chapters, the 100 point chapter two, eight and five, you get one shot and I believe the time is unlimited. We'll check that out as we go. We come back after that midterm and we have three more quizzes over time. And then we have a final. The 25 point quizzes can be, I take the highest of the three attempts. And there is no time limit on it. The only the only problem we get is here in the um, chapters. Okay, that will when you have your final midterm and final, there will be a one shot only, but the time will be removed so you can do as long as you want. So I scroll down. We will have discussion posts. You need to reply to two other people. So you got to post and eventually find two other people to post to. There is a trick. Some students will say. I post on the first day that I can post, wait a couple of days for other people to post, and then reply to two other people. So that's a good strategy to do. If you're forgetful like me, sometimes you forget to go back in and do your post. Total class points right here. I dropped my grading scale to an 89 for an A, a 79 for a B, a 69 for a C, and a 59 for a D, and anything below a 58 is, a, is an F. I do this, that way you don't beg at the end and say, Mr. Neighbors, please, 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 I only need one more point. Well, I gave everybody one point at the beginning of the semester, so at that point, you're begging for two points. I probably can't do that. I could do a lot of with my training. I do a lot with my quiz. I allow you to take it over and over and over. Um, your, your Learn Smart, which is in uh, Connect, and your SimNet, I do a lot about deadlines and do-overs. I believe in learning the knowledge um, not just memorizing it. Here's an, another, an older orientation video if you want to look at it. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so we can ask some questions. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about the class? Yeah, I have a question. Yes, Zoom user. Yeah, sorry, my name is Michael. Um, I was... Uh... I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Anybody else? Carlos, hey. Caroline. Are you able to hear me? This isn't working. Maybe I'm not hearing. Hold on, I'm gonna make an adjustment here. Hold on. Um, how's that? Are you able to hear me now? Yes. Were you able to hear me through my presentation? Yeah, I was hearing you, but I guess you couldn't hear me. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I was, um, I'm, I keep uh, emailing you about the uh, having access. Yes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on a work computer right now and it's a Windows computer, but I can't, I still can't seem to find access on that computer. You can download, so you, they don't allow you to download stuff on your computer from work? For um, work? It, it, it may let me, I'm not really 100% sure, uh, but you, I can't even find the app. Okay, then you probably don't have it. So what you need to do is download, I send out, I'll send out a video here very soon showing you how to download it for free from your school and install it. Okay. Okay. 
I mean, I can work with everybody. I can work with a lot. The only thing I can't work with is our timeline. I can go a little bit over the end of the class if somebody had some one or two things to do, but I can help you getting things installed. I can give you some more time if you need something on a quiz or a SimNet. Um, the big push is we got to try to finish as close to the times we can. We have to get our digital codes from the bookstore. Those are things I can't, that's something you got to get started on. And I'm going to send an email out through Canvas. But um, if you want to join me, if you're having problems, you said installing it, um, I will be back on at one um, for in just my office hours, same place. It's in the syllabus. Just click on the link. It's also on the front homepage when you log in. Just click on that and maybe we can walk through it then too. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right. Other, other questions that are out there? Anything, everything? Okay. I totally appreciate everybody coming. And those of you who couldn't come but are watching this video, please remember on the homepage of this class, I do have digital office hours where you can drop in and visit with me. Um, I'm not on campus. Carlos, do you have a question before we jump out? I do have a question. Sorry, I was just driving. Um, That's okay. <laughs> um, so I heard that the Mac doesn't allow us to use access, right? So you're saying that the school's library does use, let us use access? I believe their computer systems have access. Okay. okay. It's a real and then my other question. Unit. If you uh -huh. have a friend that has a, a PC for that unit, you can borrow their computer and just install it again on their computer and you're set. Okay. Because I also know, doesn't Evergreen like let students borrow laptops, but are they Chromebooks or do you know what type of model they are? I don't know what they are, but I can do some research. Chromebooks aren't going to work for the access. Yeah. They don't want you to install Microsoft Office. Okay. I don't know why they would do that, but they could be. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was my question. The, I, I also had another question about the access code, but I think I just got my order fulfilled right now. So that Where was, at? Uh, Evergreen, the library. Okay. And at the Evergreen, and they're going to give you, it should come in just a piece of, it's kind of weird. You're paying for the e-codes, which when you open it up, there's two cards uh -huh. in there and you scratch them off like lottery tickets. <laughs> okay. You got to have both codes. So don't lose those. If they don't come, they're going to okay. say they'd mail them to you. I, I selected pickup. So I'm going to pick them up right now. Okay. Do me a favor and email me, Carlos, if they're not there, uh -huh. because again, I'm teaching this class on another campus. And I know that okay. stacks of them and I can get them for you probably fairly quick. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem. Anybody else? All right. Again, I hope we can enjoy this quick class. I'm here to work for you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to do as much as I can. Um, so let me know. I only, I'll only know if you tell me or email me. Okay. So have a great day and I appreciate everybody who's in this class and we're in this together and we're going to get through it. All right. Bye. Bye.